generating a liftoff thrust of more than 860,000 pounds, the RD-180 engine ignites to begin ULA's Atlas V rocket on its trip to orbit. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the rocket experiences during flight. Just over a minute into flight, Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, followed by an increase in velocity by more than 1,400% as it approaches booster engine cutoff. Fighting against the force of gravity, the 753,000-pound rocket depletes the majority of its propellant as it powers through Earth's atmosphere. The main engine then shuts down, followed by release of the booster stage. The rocket now weighs a little more than 8% of what it did at liftoff. Fueled by liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, ULA Centaur second stage fires up to take the spacecraft orbital, reaching a LEO orbit. Once the rocket has climbed above the densest part of Earth's atmosphere, the payload fairing is jettisoned. After heading south towards the equator throughout the first engine burn, cutoff of the Centaur main engine, or MECO-1, occurs. Following an 11-minute coast, Centaur releases NOAA's Joint Polar Satellite System 2 into sun-synchronous LEO orbit, where it will capture data that informs weather forecasts, extreme weather events, and climate change. Following JPSS-2 separation, Centaur's engine ignites for a second burn to redirect the trajectory for release of lofted NASA and ULA's Low Earth Orbit Flight Test of an inflatable decelerator. A third Centaur engine burn ends with a guidance-commanded shutdown, a capability which ensures precise orbit injection. Nearing end of mission, Centaur releases lofted on its trajectory to re-enter Earth's atmosphere and eventually land east of Hawaii. Dedicated to ULA's Bernard Cutter, Lofted is an inflatable aeroshell pathfinder for application in future NASA missions and engine reuse on ULA's Vulcan rocket.